Hi, traders. It's Connie Hill. Welcome to Quick Tips for Thinkorswim. Today's quick tip is how to use chart patterns feature to identify candle patterns. What we discuss is for educational and informational purposes only. Don't consider it a recommendation of any sort. Come over here to my charts. I've got a Disney chart up here, pretty basic, no studies, so that I can illustrate this to you. Thinkorswim Charts has the ability to show you certain candle patterns that you desire to see, maybe to point out to you things that maybe might not be as obvious to you if it weren't pointed out. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to Patterns. You're just going to select on it. All right. As we select on it, two things. One, make sure you select uh, this checkbox here to show the patterns. And then we're going to go into Select Patterns. Now, as we come into select patterns, there are three tabs. We're going to go over to the candlestick tab. As I scroll down, you can see, well, there are a ton of candlesticks that we could put on to, to identify on our charts. Let's just illustrate it with a couple. Let's go ahead. We're going to select a doji as an indecision candle. And then we're going to select an engulfing candle bring that on. Now let's go into the settings for the doji. This is going to say, hey, this is how I'm going to indicate there's a doji on the chart. Don't worry about the inputs up here. Most of the time, you're probably just going to leave them alone. But th what it's telling us is there's going to be a point at the closing price. Well, a point is basically a period, okay, a small little dot. And as you know, with the doji, the, the opening and closing price are pretty much the same thing. So there's going to be a purple dot in the middle of that. The width is set here at three. I want it as big as we can because it is quite small. So let's change that to a width of five. And notice, okay, it's going to be purple on the screen when it sees that. Next up, the engulfing pattern. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to select on the gear. And what I want you to notice here uh, is that there is a bearish and a bullish engulfing candle and it has it set up here so that the bearish one is a down arrow at the high i'm going to make that a width of five as well and the color is that kind of cayenne light blue the bullish engulfing candle is set at a width of two we're going to change it to a five and we'll keep that color of pink let's select okay and we're going to select OK again. And then I'm going to kind of zoom into my charts here a little bit so we can take a look at what we're seeing. All right, we've got some arrows, we've got some dots on the screen. So first thing, let's take a look at the dots. So we have in this candle, we've got a purple dot in the middle of that doji letting us know, hey, that's the identifier for a doji candle. Next up is engulfing candles. We said, all right, an engulfing candle that's bullish is going to have a pink arrow. And so as we look at here, yeah, there's a pink arrow, and this candle completely engulfs the previous day's candle. Let's look at on the bearish candle. Over here, we have a bearish engulfing candle. We've got a blue arrow pointing down. We can see this candle completely engulfs the previous day's candle. So it can be just a helpful thing as you're learning candles or if there's certain candles you're like, man, I want it to give me an indicator because it's really maybe a powerful candle message. This is how you're going to be able to do that. So now that you know, go ahead, select what candle patterns you might want to see. I'll say maybe don't choose too many at once or it can get really busy on your screen and you might have difficulty remembering what color of what arrow represents what. So use some caution there, but enjoy this feature in the Thinkorswim charts.